All right. <clears throat> so here we go with this base head garage watt meter version one and base head garage watt meter version two. Now the version two is accurate. So I'm gonna do this series of tests. Volume 30 through volume 50. And this is at 40 Hertz. I'm gonna show you how much the percentage is off from the V1 to the V2. So the V2 is real power. It is uh, accurate, and both of the both of these meters are consistent, but the V1, I'm guessing, you know, is not calibrated correctly, so it does not hold true power. Um, the power, you know, the power ratings on the V1 are off. I did test that, so the V1 is not accurate, but I'm going to show you from 100 watts up to, I don't know, what whatever we can get out of this Smart 8 on this test bench, probably 10,000 watts. So from uh, about 100 watts or so at volume 30 to about 10,000 watts at volume 50, and that will be in the clipping. I wanna show you, and I'm gonna calculate the uh, percentage. I'm gonna put the power here, the power here, I'm gonna divide this power by this power, and then it'll give me a number, and I'm gonna subtract that by one, or from one, and then that's gonna be the percentage that it's off. So if you take the V2 power and then subtract that percentage from it, it will give you the power for the V1. So, with all that mumbo jumbo being said, let's just get started. 40 hertz, volume 30, peak hold on both units. So we have 118 and then 135. So I want to go 118 divided by 135. And that is 87.4%, then minus one. So that is 12, let's call it 12.6%. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna that's how I'm gonna do this. So how do I prove that to be correct? So I'm gonna take 135 watts and uh, subtract 12.6 percent. And that is 117.99 watts, and we wrote down, 118 here so that you know the math the math all you know numbers don't lie the math always equates so i'm not going to clear that i'm not going to clear that out because i'm just going to go up one on the volume so we've got 148 and 169 so we want to take 148 Divide by 169, and that is 87.57% minus 1. That is 12.42%, so 12.4%. And again, you take 169 minus 12.4%, and that is 148.04%. And we've got 148 watts on the V1. All right, <clears throat> so one more click, volume 32. We've got 186 and 216. So we're gonna take 186 divided by 216 minus one. That's 13.89%. So 13.9%. So it increased right there. Next one, 
So 233 divided by 275 minus 1, 15.3. So it's not linear so far, you know, it's already starting to increase in percentage. So volume 34, 290 and 341. So 290 uh, divided by 341 and then minus one, that's 14.3. Nine six, so let's call it. Let's call it fifth. Uh, let's just call it fourteen point nine. Well, actually, that would be fifteen percent, but it don't matter. That's point one percent. Volume thirty five, three sixty eight. And 425. So 368 divided by 425. And then minus 1. 13.4%. Next one. 36. 457. And then 525. So 457 divided by 525 equals minus 1. That's 12.95, so we'll call it 12.9. 572 and 664. Minus one, 13.85, so 13.9. Line 38, 726, and 865. Sixteen point one. Sixteen point one percent. Next one. Nine seventeen. And a Next one, 1159, 13.36, 13.2% again, 14.65, and 1680 minus one, and that is 12.8%. Next one, volume 42, 1844, and 2100. And minus one, twelve point two percent. Next one, volume forty three, twenty two ninety two, twenty six hundred, oh, twenty six sixty. Sorry, twenty two ninety two divided by twenty six sixty and minus one. That's 13.8 percent. Next one, 28.81 and 33.31. So 
got 2881 minus or divide by 3331 equals and then minus one 13.5 percent next one volume 45 3659 4205 Right at 13.0%. Point Line 46, 44.39, and 52.80. Minus one, that's 15.9%. Fifty one thirty four six six four nine and that's twenty two. Let me redo that one. That one's just like way off. So volume 47, again. So 50.98. And then 23.4%. So definitely not linear. <laughs> the V1 is definitely not linear. So volume 48. Heard the smart tech kick in. 5757. Five, seven. And then 8403. Thirty-one, thirty-one percent, thirty-one point five percent differential, and I could have something to do with the smart tech, but we'll keep going. Forty-nine, volume forty-nine. Smart tech kicked in pretty heavily there. Six zero nine five and nine five six three. So as the uh, the power increases, the V1 is definitely way off. So 6095 divided by 9563 equals, and then minus 1. So that's 36.3%. And then uh, volume 50. I see the smart tech kicked in. The numbers did not change at all. So let's uh, let's just redo that. So volume 50. So yeah, we got less, less wattage because it was uh, just too much. The uh, smart tech kicked in. So volume 49 would be like our maximum volume if we were Running this in the lanes. So divide by nine five 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 minus one. So that's a thirty seven point four percent differential. <clears throat> All right. So let's uh I know it's a long, boring ass video. But 
for the ones that have the V1, you know, I kind of, uh, you know, just wanted to give you an example. Uh, you know, here's the power spread. You know, as the power increases, look right there about the 5,000 watt mark, that's when it really starts getting out of control. So if you have a V1 and you're, you know, below 5,000 watts, you know, 4,000 watts and below, then you can add, you know, about 13%, give or take, to uh, get to, you know, get to the actual power uh, that your amplifier is pushing out. But I mean, I mean, here, here's the results. I'm just going to let it speak for themselves. Um, I know it was a, you know, quick, quick tests on each, each volume, but the math checks out on each one. So, I mean, you can do the math yourself. You know, you just take the uh, V2 power and then subtract the percentage that I have wrote down there, written down there. And then you should get very, very close results to the V1 power in that same column or that same line. So, yeah. So, uh, anyway, just figured I'd share. Just, you know, do this series of tests and show you the, uh, the results from the V1 versus the V2, click for click. And there you have it. It's all for this one.